Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Java Buffer Reader, File Reader, Buffer Writer, and File Writer classes. I'm going to introduce you how to use the class for handling file input output uh, or writing uh, file uh, and reading uh, text files. First off, we have the File Reader class. That is a convenience class for reading character files. This class is meant for reading streams of character. Then we have the buffer reader class. This reads text from a character input stream, buffering characters so as to provide for the efficient reading of characters, arrays, and lines. It is recommended that you use the buffer reader class to wrap around any read uh, operation that may be costly. Then we have the file writer class. This is a convenience class for writing character files. Buffer writer writes text to a character output stream, buffering characters so as to provide for the efficient writing of single characters, arrays, and string. It is recommended that you use buffer writer class to wrap around writing operations that may be costly. So in this lesson, I will demonstrate how to use file reader and buffer reader classes for reading operations and file writer and buffer writer classes for writing operation. Okay, so let's jump into Eclipse and find out what um, file reader, buffer reader, file writer, buffer writer can do for you. Okay, so let's begin creating a project. New Java project. And I'm going to call this uh, file IO. <coughs> and click on finish next I'll add the source code add a new class so I'm gonna call this class um, file IO package I'm gonna call it demo okay uh, and then click on finish and need to add um, public static void main here <coughs> okay so first off um, I'm gonna go ahead and create the um, the function necessary to read file okay and so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create uh, public void read file string okay and in this function um, I'm gonna use buffer reader and file reader so in my try I'm gonna say buffer reader buff read equal to new buffer reader and then new file reader and then the, the file name okay so that's my try catch and so you notice okay there's error immediately so it's just suggested that we need to import buffer reader so just right click do import buffer reader okay and then then um, here it's also giving us an error okay so we just do import file reader here okay <clears throat> and um, so in my try catch uh, I'm gonna uh, put um, while um, string buffer equal to buffer okay buff read buff read dot read line and it's not equal sorry it's not equal to null then continue on uh, system uh, out dot print line and then string buffer which we need to declare okay so I need to declare string buffer out here string string buffer ok 
Okay. And and yeah, missing. Okay, I'm missing a parenthesis here. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, and in my catch, I'm gonna say catch um, IO exception E, and I can do. Um, Sorry, it's supposed to be uppercase here. I can go uh, E, print, stack trace. So if there's an exception, it's going to print the stack, 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 uh, stack, um, stack trace for that. This should be string, OK? OK, so in my uh, main class, I can create a constructor. And um, I'm going to create. Um, file IO equal okay file IO FI equal to new file IO okay then from here I can say FI read file and I can pass in the actual file name so in this case uh, I can say all right, let's pass in um, an argument. Um, so um, we can pass in, let's say I'm going to create string uh, some text file equal, let's say, uh, uh, record dot data. Okay. Or I'm sorry, record dot text txt, and we can pass in that text file as an input. Okay, so let's save this <coughs> and then compile the code. Of course, it's going to give us an error because there's no record dot text file yet. So um, I'm going to go and open a uh, terminal window here and I'm gonna switch to file IO and I need to see to bin directory okay and underneath here what we need to do is create uh, a text file let's say uh, I'm gonna use VI to op uh, create a text file so read uh, sorry record dot text and I'm gonna say uh, hello world uh, welcome to Java okay so that's my text file <clears throat> and so to execute this guy uh, we need to do Java dash CP which is the class path right and we need to put dot um, and then uh, our demo which is our package then file uh, I.O. Okay, and you can see the actual output says hello world welcome to Java. So it's able to basically read the, the record.txt file. Okay, so that's an example for reading text file. Now we need to create the example for writing text file. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll go ahead and create public void uh, write file. I'm going to pass in string file and then uh, the actual data. Okay. So um, I'm going to create uh, a try catch block. Okay. So same thing try buffer uh, writer okay bf writer equal to new buffer uh, writer then new uh, file writer string file and I want to be able to append that so I, I'm gonna type in true 
right? So, um, and in my try, um, so you you can see that there's an error right now, right? So what we need to do is do import buffer writer, and for file writer we also have an error, so we need to import file writer. So it's gonna uh, bring in um, file file writer and um, buffer writer. Okay, so hmm, why is it giving me this uh, problem? So um, move buffer. Okay, so we need to add a throw exception here. So it, it didn't, it doesn't like it when we don't have a throw. Uh, edge. Okay, I'm gonna go add catch clause to surround try catch. Okay, so that that they'll be happy by doing that. Um, okay, so um, so to write to this, we just do buff. I'm gonna call this buff writer, not bf writer. Buff writer. So we do buff write uh, buff writer. And I'm gonna do write dot okay, and then basically the data that I want to write the data to. Okay. So um, that's it basically for the write file uh, function. So if I'm I'm gonna um, 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 so once I open the file, I can read the file and I can write data. Okay, but in this case, I'm gonna write. Uh, new data to that file. So um, I'm gonna say, okay, this is my data string text data, right? So I'm gonna call this um, uh, hello again. I'm writing this info to a file, okay? So um, I'll go ahead and do fi write file. I will specify the same file. So in this case, it's going to be dot record.txt. And I'm going to pen the new text data. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and read that text file again once I uh, write to it. Okay. So let's recompile this code. Uh, gonna do. Uh, it's gonna have a problem. Okay, so um, let's go and and uh, execute it basically from the terminal. So I'm gonna type Java dash cp for my class path. In this case, is dot, which is my um, current working directory, then my uh, package, right, and my class name. Dot class name. So you can see, um, hello world, hello world. I'm um, sorry, hello world. Welcome to Java. Hello world again. And then basically the line that I wrote here. So it's able to read back the information I just wrote to the file. Okay. So that's a uh, short tutorial of uh, on how to use the buffer writer and buffer reader class to to read and write data to a text file. So um, if you like um, this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.